Hi, I'm Rich, I'm Kitchen Chef here at Morrison's. I'm going to show you how versatile this Swede can be with these Swede cheese and onion pasties. Okay, let's get on with making the mixture. I've got my Swede here, it's already prepared. I've cooked it in boiled salted water for around five minutes, no longer. We'll pop this into the bowl. And we'll start sauteing the onions off. Okay, so a little drizzle of olive oil to the pan. Not too hot, don't want it smoking. We'll add our onions, then we'll add our thyme. Now with the thyme, you want to make sure you pick all the leaves. You don't want any stalk woody ends because they're quite hard to eat. So we'll soften these onions up nicely, ready to go into the sweet mixture. Okay, so once we've got to this stage where the onions are really nice and soft, they haven't burned and just sweat it down nicely, we'll add our sugar. Sprinkle that in there over the onions. And we'll have our vinegar, we'll put that in there as well. It's like a gastric, that's called, sweet and sour. We'll mix them together, well incorporated. And that should take about two minutes to evaporate off. And then we'll add that to the sweet mixture. So if we just tip that into there. Make sure we get all the lovely thyme. There you go. We'll add the cheese. we we'll get the mustard. Put that there, and we'll get some nice seasoning. It's seasoned to taste, really, this is. Personal taste. A bit of pepper in there. And then we'll mix it all together. Okay, the next stage, we're going to roll and cut the pastry. So we're going to flour the surface. So just, you don't need too much. Okay, we'll get the pastry. It's best to use chilled pastry. If it's too warm, all the fat will melt inside and it'll just go everywhere. Okay, I always start with it at an angle. So if you just push down there, uh, push down on each side like that. And then you just, each of the raised bits, you just keep pushing down until you start to, to get a rectangular shape. We've got this pastry to approximately the thickness of a pound coin. So I'm going to start cutting the discs out now. I want to use this bowl, but you can use a saucer at home. So we'll just place it on there. Get a knife. Keep your hands away from the knife. And just go around. And we'll do this until we've got eight discs. Okay, now we've cut the eight discs, we're going to start assembling them. So we get this lovely sweet mixture that we've made earlier on been chilling in the fridge, so it's nice and cold now. So into the centre, try not to get it around the edges, because you, that's where you're going to mix your egg. Dip it. So just along the top, you want it just along the top, so you've got that dry surface at the bottom, so when you do fold it over it'll stick nicely. So we'll fold that over. Push it down, seal it. And, it there. and then we're going to stand it up. So you've got a flat surface on the bottom. And then you can use a fork or your fingers. I'm going to use my fingers here to crimp the top. So we just give it a little push like that. Your thumb going forward. And this finger pushing back. And you get a nice pasty shape. So there's one there. Okay, so now that we've made the pasties, we're going to egg wash them with this remaining egg. So we just want to lightly brush them, give them a nice golden colour once they're baked in the oven. You don't need to go mad with it. Okay, so a little bit of thyme. Need to remember that we've got thyme in this recipe anyway, so we just want a little bit on there fragrance. Okay, now we've done that, we're going to put them in the fridge half an hour and then after that we'll put them in the preheated oven for half an hour until they're nice and golden brown. How's that for an easy delicious snack? Cheese, onion and sweet pasties. Can't wait to try them.